Ethan, E2, embodied and empowered here. So I guess this is another morning crying pain video. <laughs> Slash. And Emma. <laughs> so I feel very lucky that I have the pain all the time. And the challenges because uh, I don't know if I'm like a canary in the coal mine for some people or I'm just from heaven and my soul chose to go through these things in my life which created the tumor and pain in the first place so that I could have like a, a human excuse to share my love and transformation with people because if I started out at the end line, it wouldn't be as cool of a story. So I'm trying to remind myself of that truth that um, my soul, along with God, which is the soul in everything, chose this experience for myself. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty awesome experiencing lots of extremes with the pain and challenges, but also extreme miracles and blessings every single day. Well, every moment, even right now, I have uh, lots and lots of blessings and there's a bathroom I'm in. Not everyone has a bathroom. I have a phone. Some people would have to work for years in certain countries just to pay for this phone. I have uh, love in my heart. A lot of people would be angry and bitter, or well, they could even be dead or have given up by now if they've gone through what I went through for the past 14 months. So there are so many blessings here, and I'm, I'm trying to use everything to serve my unique vibration, my unique flow state, and my unique life purpose. Much easier said than done. It's definitely a practice, but I'm, I'm doing my best to kind of clear past karma for myself and then also help others clear their karma at the same time and also cultivate good karma for myself and for other people and hopefully the world because I, I didn't come here to be in this dark world. I came here to, well, maybe I did. I guess that's part of the journey that we um, chose. But it's not normal. Like if something's not normal, we should not pretend that it is. It's not normal for there to be so much uh, fear and uh, like uh, division in humanity and like this is not our natural state or normal at all. The uh, the darkness, the fear, the, the violence, this is not normal. We should not pretend that it is or get used to it. The disconnection from nature is not normal. So this, I still remember what home is like. I, I can feel it in my heart. And I'm doing my best to transmute my own pain and situation into uh, beauty and, and, and awakening memories of home and bringing home into this realm. Um, so I'm just relaxing so the water can go through my bowels. So I usually start with water enema to kind of clear things out a little bit. Actually, this morning I did water, or I'm doing water with tr trace minerals, which can kind of, for me anyway, helps. Um, it helps in different ways. Sometimes magnesium to relax the bowels. I get to breathe. Yeah, I like different colored towels. <laughs> Gotta get a rainbow towel. I'll turn my art into towels. <laughs> That'll be awesome. It's actually a great idea. Hmm. Thank you. So 
So that's about all I want to share now. Um, trying to stay present with the pain and all the different emotions of in my own life and that I feel in the world. Then also stay present with the uh, the limitations and then also stay present with the limitless energies inside and outside also. Um, so wishing you the best wherever you are and praying a lot for different people. Prayer is real. It's just we're connecting with the psychic and the heart space, which is beyond time and space. So this is what we all have the opportunity to strengthen right now. Consciously thinking, consciously feeling different energies and letting go of distractions as much as possible with love and compassion. So with that being said, here's my my morning affirmation. I'm, of course, I'm going to do it again and again. Um, it was E3. That's the name that my shaman gave me in a ceremony when I requested a new name. But recently, I've been feeling like I want to just focus on the E2, embodied and empowered. And then after the next head surgery, which will be my fifth head surgery, I'll add the ecstatic back in. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. The ecstasy is always there, but right now I'm focusing more on slowing down, grounding, um, staying in the body, you could say, <laughs> quite literally. Um, and I'm assisting others in slowing down and grounding and connecting with the earth. So with that being said, the E2 affirmation. I am embodied. I am <laughs> empowered i am embodied i am empowered one more round if you'd like to join me i am embodied i am empowered and may you be as well ethan e2 wishing you well <laughs>